When you click this video, there's a good chance that you've seen these characters before and know that these are Korean alphabets. And now you want to know how it actually works to use these characters to form words in Korean? Get right on spot. This video is going to be a quick crash course on how to read Hangul. Let's begin. There are 14 consonants and 10 basic vowels in Korean alphabet. These are all we need to learn Korean writing system. This block is a placeholder that shows where to put consonants and vowels in writing in Korean. Each square box represents one syllable. For the first consonant, let's start with ing. Putting the vowel u with the consonant ing makes the letter u. Putting the vowel u with a consonant ing makes the letter u. These two letters make a word uyu, which means milk. Putting the vowel a with a consonant ing makes the letter a. Consonant yuk represents a g, g sound. When put together with a vowel e, it forms a letter ki. Putting these two letters together looks like this, a gi, which means a baby. Adding the consonant kyok as a lower consonant to agi as k sound. This first letter is pronounced a. These two letters form a word akki, which means a musical instrument. This is a consonant chiot, which represents ch ch sound. Putting the vowel a with a consonant chiot makes the letter cha. Adding this letter to a second letter of agi makes the word kicha, which means train. When a consonant yung is added to a letter cha, it is pronounced chang. This square looking consonant is mium, which makes m sound. Let's add a vowel u to mium, and also let's add a lower consonant, niun, which makes n sound. Putting everything together makes the letter moon. To go over consonants and vowels one more time, we have chiut, vowel a, lower consonant yung, upper consonant mium, vowel u, and a lower consonant niun. All together, they make a word changmun, which means window. This is a consonant chiut, which makes j sound. With the vowel o, this letter sounds cha. Adding a second vowel e makes a complex vowels, and now this letter becomes j. First letter is from the previous example, and adding them together, is munche, which means a problem. Now we're back to the consonant yung. This horizontal line is a vowel u. The vertical line here is the vowel e. When these two vowels are used together, this compound vowels sounds ui. First letter is mun. Second letter is ui. Together, it is pronounced mun ui. This is a consonant shiot, which makes s sound. Together with the vowel a, this letter is pronounced sa. The first letter is ui from the previous example, and the second letter is sa. Together, this is a word ui sa, which means a doctor. This time, let's try to form a word pyeong won. To make a letter pyeong, we need a consonant byuk, a vowel yo, and a lower consonant yung for ng sound. For the second letter 1, we start with a consonant yung, which has no sound, and use the first vowel u and a second vowel o. U and o together makes a compound sound wo. Last, we need to put consonant niun as a lower consonant to form a letter 1. This is how a word pyeong won looks like, and this means a hospital. This is a consonant hyut, which makes h sound. And put together, a vowel a with h sounds ha, and adding a lower consonant niun makes it han. Consonant kyok is for a g sound, and adding a vowel u to kyok makes ku, and putting a lower consonant liul makes it kul. Together, this sounds han kul, which means a Korean alphabet. After watching this video, you should have a pretty good understanding of how to read Hangul. If you want to practice more, please feel free to check out other videos in my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos to come.